I-94 was not the place for the impatient today. After a nearly 10-hour stop-and-go traffic, it looks like it's finally clearing up somewhat in parts. You're looking live at Interstate 94 going east through Fargo into Moorhead. Thanks for joining us tonight. Big time traffic hassle in North Dakota's largest city. Coming from a project across the river, road construction has led to I-94 looking more like a parking lot for most of the day today. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric is out in this headache and he joins us much more. Bradford? Stephanie, we're here alongside Interstate 94 in Moorhead. We're just past the 34th Street exit. As you can see, traffic is uh, getting down to about one lane as we're right near the merge point. Uh, the crews had those lanes closed back all the way to the Red River Bridge earlier today. Those lanes have since been reopened, and it's down to one lane here near the uh, Red River Way Station. And it's been like that for most of the day today. Brake lights, orange barrels, miles of stop and go driving, and the need to merge. It's the current state of I-94 eastbound. So bad. Yeah. Yeah. How long have we been trying to get through here? Oh, only like 20 minutes or so. I just told someone I'd be there in 10 minutes. Yeah, we're probably not going to make that. All right, doesn't look like it. And those times are pretty accurate. We timed it ourselves during the lunch hour, starting at the pedestrian bridge to the 8th Street exit, about 16 minutes. Further east to 20th Street, about 17. Southeast Main Avenue and 34th Street, nearly 20 minutes. And to the end of the construction zone at Highway 336, nearly 25 minutes from the pedestrian bridge. I'm a freshman at MSUM. AJ Andreessen says he goes back and forth frequently through this stretch of I-94, and there's no two ways about it. Oh yeah, it's a pain in the butt, but it needs to be done at some point, you know. And that seems to be the consensus. It's a pain in the rear end, but it's got to be done. The lane closure should be done uh, sometime next Wednesday and starting next year. Remember this, starting next year, MnDOT is going to start construction on that diverging diamond project at 8th Street and Interstate 94. So if you travel from Fargo to Moorhead on I-94 frequently, use this as a precursor to next year and start planning your route now. Reporting live in Moorhead, Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. Bradford, thank you. Now, if you're trying to avoid the construction, you've got two options. Go through downtown or down to 52nd Avenue and then around.